Hello. Welcome to another Justice Suggestion. This is Chris again. And uh, before we get started on this week's segment, I have a new segment that I would like to start this week. Wait a damn minute! Now, th this, this is something that's been bugging me for a while now. Curious George. I will have you know, I do not have a problem with Curious George. I think he's a cute monkey. I, I, I love his books. But the one problem I do have with Curious George is his name. I find his name misleading and misrepresentative. If he was really all that curious, don't you think he'd bother to find out the name of the man in the yellow hat? Come on! I'm sorry. I, I, not not on to, just a suggestion. Oh, sorry, I need to calm down a little bit after that. My, uh, my pick for this week is the name, the name of the book is Gil's All Fright Diner by A. Lee Martinez. And uh, this was the first book by this author. And uh, I thought this was just a fun book to read. Just a lot of fun. Um, we got a werewolf and a, and a zombie, or not a zombie, a, and a vampire. We're driving out west. And the vampire, and the, geez, the werewolf gets hungry, so they stop at a diner to get the uh, hamburger for the, for the werewolf. And uh, while they're at this diner, it's attacked by zombies. So one thing leads to another. They agree to help out the, the owner of the diner fight off the zombies. But this book has everything in it. It's got zombies. It's got undead cattle. It's got um, Pig Latin as the dark language. It's it, just fun, fun, fun to read. He's got a lot of a few books, few, a few other books that are out there, but I still say this was my personal favorite. So hope to see you this week. Um, stop in. And uh, anyway, that just a suggestion for this week. See ya. Give me the damn Curious George book.